Hi everybody, Jackie here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a kind of an accumulated Dollar Tree haul. I haven't really been much over the course of the summer and I've bought one or two things here or there and I just thought I'd show you everything all at one time. It's nothing new. Everybody has seen all this stuff before. I'm just showing you some of the stuff that I found at my Dollar Tree. I'm going to start with some of these uh, little like pearlescent jewels. As you can see, they're just uh, white, you know, for crafting items. Set that there. I also picked up, and these are not new, but you, please understand. Stuff takes forever to come to any of the Dollar Trees near me. These are just some of the seven count pop-up jot stickers. These are the ones that uh, say like grow old along with me. The best is yet to be. Love you always, forever and always. I just want to thank you for being my reason to look forward to the next day. And these work really well in junk journals and in um, card making, things like that. That's what I use them for. Okay, the next thing we're pulling out. Oh, some more of the stickers. And these are the ones that say, uh, cherish the simple things. Cherish yesterday. Live for today. Dream for tomorrow. Cherish every moment. Love every moment. And embrace every possibility. These are more blue-toned bluish and green toned just so you can see there like I said this has just been a mishmash of a few little things I've found I found these napkins they're the 14 size guest napkin 14 count guest napkins they say spring fling on them but it says keep life simple and I'm going to turn it to the back side where you can see a better picture of it it's I use these um, of course in junk journals uh, I use these in mixed media mashup you know mixed media art I'll use those the next thing it's just a little thin flashlight you could see how thin that is and you know well let's see if I can get it to work Yeah, there it is. I'm going to try not to make it so bright. Yeah, so you could see. That's great, like to fit in your purse or something, because it's so slim, such a slim uh, profile that it won't take up much room at all, anywhere you put it. I have a, this is by Spa Naturals. It's a strawberry bath bomb. Let's see if I can get it open. Because, of course, they got it taped shut. But I believe it's in an individual package on the inside, if I remember correctly. Yes, I think. Again, y'all know I'm never prepared for this stuff. I do it on the fly. Yeah, it's, uh, it's individually wrapped. And it's just struck. Oh, you can smell. You can really smell that strawberry through there. Okay, let's put that over there. Let's just toss stuff. Speaking of, st of tossing stuff, I want to tell everybody, and I'm sure everybody knows this, but uh, Kathy and Be Brad from No Guts, No Glory lost their channel. They had no strikes, nothing wrong. I just YouTube took it from them. Uh, so they have started a new channel while they're waiting to see about getting their other one back, it's called Shop, Share, Show with NG, NG. So if you were a No Guts, No Glory fan, you know, Kathy and Brad, the mister that is, go check them out on that channel. I love them. They're amazing people. And just, anyways, check them out. I got, they've had these old Williamsburg candles 
in different scents all summer long. This one is just, I don't know if I'll ever get it to where you can see it, but it's fresh peaches. And it's the one wick. And does it smell like fresh peaches? These are not going to give you the best throw. They're, what do you expect for a dollar? But I burn them in my bedroom or in the bathroom. And so in a smaller space, it's going to work wonderful. It's going to work fine. It's not going to give you a, a good throw for a big room. But for a smaller area, absolutely. They do the job and do it wonderfully. Here we go. I'm just pulling stuff out of this bag here. This is, again, by Spa Naturals. And this is the Coconut bath bomb and again it's wrapped inside and it smells like coconut i buy all these things and i never use them but i got this many nieces and great nieces that love it when they come to my house because i've always got something for them they're always aj what you got for me today and aj always manages to pull something out they love it love it love it Okay, the next thing I'm pulling out of here, it's just a pack of 200 count index cards. Plain, simple, Jot brand, heavier weight cards. And I use these um, like, you know, the front side is lined. And then on the back side, I'll cover them with some kind of decorative paper to use them as journaling cards in my junk journals, you know, so people have, a and you turn them into tags or just leave them as this, you know, basically the same thing as a Project Life card. I'm just creating my own. There you go. The next thing I have is I found this, the Daily Defense. Now, I was really... Uh, glad to see this. It's the uh, micellar cleansing water. It gently removes makeup impure and impurities. I was so surprised that it came to my Dollar Tree, and it's a uh, eight ounce size, so that's a good, you know, micellar water daily defense for a dollar. Good deal. Very good deal. Okay, here we go. And this is just five little piece uh, vials of glitter. It's gold, purple, silver, maybe another gold and a pinkish purple. I don't know. Maybe two golds, a silver and a lighter purple and a or a darker purple and a a pink. But I use uh, in mixed media. You know, after you put your paint down. And before you go to add something else, you add a little shimmer sparkle with, you know, with the glitter before you hit it with the heat gun and dry it to add your next layer, whatever. That's what I use that for. I have some more of these. I showed you the other little gemstone stickers. I also got the red. Now, how I managed to do this, I don't know. I guess because I went at different times. But I got two of the greenish. They're not really coming across as green here, but they are like an emerald green. I got... And these are the ones that are more like buttons. And I got blue, a dark blue, a pink, and kind of like a minty teal green. Again for crafting, for cards, things like that. Got all those. I got, now this, this is the uh, Jade Roller. It's by the, by My Beauty Spot. And it's not a very big one. It's a very small one. Most Jade Rollers are a little bit bigger than this. But again, for a dollar, you know, you're going to get exactly what you pay for. I'm taking it out of the package so you can see it. And it's so cool to the touch because it's jade. And everybody knows jade roller, you know. To And as you can tell, I have not used it and definitely need to be using. But for a dollar, I thought that was certainly, you know, worth trying. 
And if I like, if I get results from I see anything from it, I would be more than willing to go pay for a bigger, better one. But this way, for a dollar, I can try it out, and I'm not out a lot of money. And I believe the last thing, oh, no, it's not the last thing. So let's go ahead. Dry shampoo, spray, style, and go. It's the Blossom. This is not for me. It's for my sister. She loves dry shampoo because her hair is so oily. I don't care. She showers every day and shampoos her hair every day, and it's still oily. So she likes to use this. So I got that for her. And this is old, but I just, I have given away all the ones I had, and I just like the looks of it. And it's the little tape dispenser that looks like a pink flamingo. You know, I just like to set it on my desk. It doesn't, um, I really don't use the tape off of it. I just like the, the decor of it, of the pink flamingo. And then the last thing I got, and you're going to think, what in the world? But I got a plan. I got five. Let's get them to where you can see them all. I got five of the pencil pouches. And I know you're saying, okay, what does anybody need with five pencil pouches? This is what I'm going to do with them. I'm going to take, and in each different one, you know, taking the little sheet out. Let me get to where I can reach and do it. Like some of these little blings, you know, that I just bought. Put all the blings in one. Put uh, like ephemera in another one. Put, uh, you know, things like that. Different crafting things. Like when I make uh, die cuts or anything, put them all together, put them in each one in each different kind, then what you do, and I cannot take credit for this idea, I got it from uh, Lollipalooza, who has a, a crafting channel here on uh, YouTube, but what she did is she used each one for different things, and then you use the book binder rings that you can get, I think they're either five for a dollar or six for a dollar, in, in they're five in a pack or six in a pack and you can get them at the Dollar Tree and you just run one ring through all of them and then you can hang that ring up and then there's all your different ephemeras and everything that you want anything you might need you could put like uh, different kinds of stickers things you know whatever and then hang it up have it all hooked together and hang it up on you know your work area and then they're handy when you're doing something to pull them down and use them. So that's why I got five. And again, not my idea. I got it from Lollipalooza. But hey, it was a good idea and I thought I'd try it and it's going to work wonderfully and I just wanted to pass it along. So okay, everybody, that's it. That's what I have managed to accumulate from the Dollar Tree over the store. <laughs> from the Dollar Tree over the store. Now, does that not sound stupid? From the Dollar Tree over the course of the summer. I haven't been very much. I used to go all the time looking for the dog treats that our dogs love. They were the, they're the duck and sweet potato sticks, and they just absolutely love them. And I've had people say to me, well, it's not good to give them that. That comes from China and everything, and I understand that. But I didn't just come up with this idea on my own. Again, Kathy from No Guts, No Glory. Her and her husband are very into pet-friendly things. And that's what they fed their dog. That's the treats they gave their dog because there was nothing bad in them. So because of that, that's how our dogs got hooked on those. And if I look for them every time I go. And sometimes I can find them and sometimes I can't. And when I find them, I buy a bunch of them for our little dogs. Here we have three little, uh, two mini Yorkies and one that's a mini Yorkie Maltese mix. So, yeah, we have lots of little dogs. And I 
do not feel bad giving them those treats, even though they're from the Dollar Tree and they're from China, because Kathy and Brad did their research and they passed that information on. And it's the exact same ones that they used to feed their dogs. So long story short, that's why I haven't been to Dollar Tree as much as summer because I can, I, I get tired of going and I can't find what I want. So I go, you know, I used to be two, three times a week running into the Dollar Tree. Now it might be once every two or three weeks, you know, so that's just the way it works. I don't have as much to show you but when I do, I, you know, it's like I've saved all this up, you know, all summer long to show you at one time. And that kind of, I guess, makes this video longer than it should be, should have been. But I don't see the sense in coming on to show you one or two things. And with that being said, that is all for this video. That's what I got at Dollar Tree. I'd like to ask you again, please, to subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified when I upload future videos. Make sure you select the all option. Otherwise, you won't see all the videos that I upload. Then again, maybe you don't want to see all of them. Who knows? But please, select the all option. I have really slacked off all summer long on my channel and it has gone downhill and I understand that. I am doing my best to get to 1,000 subscribers and get my watch time up. Not because I want monetization, but because I want to be able to live stream from my phone instead of the laptop. So again, please, any help is appreciated. And remember what I say, guys, when the world's going to hell in a handbasket and you can't control it, don't worry about it. Don't care what everybody else is doing out there. Just worry about you, yourself, your family, your own circle, tight-knit circle of friends. Because, again, when it's all said and done, it's not my circus and they're not my monkeys. Y'all have a really good day now. Bye-bye.